see. Give me the latest news on XRP. Okay. Price surge. XRP prices increased by approximately 25% in the wake of Gensler's resignation news, reaching levels not seen since May 2021. At its peak, XRP was trading around $1.37. $1.37, marking a substantial rise from its recent levels. Market sentiment. The crypto community has shown heightened optimism due to Gensler's departure. Greed? When everyone's greedy, what shall we do? Children? Well, I'll let you decide. This has led to speculation that a new, potentially more crypto-friendly SEC chair could foster a more innovation-friendly environment for digital assets like XRP. Legal implications. There's a widespread belief that Chancellor's resignation might influence the ongoing SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Right? They have a lawsuit going on. Some connect commentators suggest that the new leadership might opt to settle or dismiss the lawsuit. And also ETF and market accessibility. The introduction of the Wisdom Tree physical XR XRP ETP by Wisdom Tree was also highlighted, offering investors a new way to gain exposure to XRP in Europe. Future predictions. Analysts and community members have speculated on XRP's potential future mo price movement. It's all speculation and stuff. And I thought I have to put this out there. And let's not also forget the political context. The resignation coincides with Donald Trump's incoming administration. So we have the political thing that's going on that's moving the price. Also, the narrative is extremely strong. And that's about it. I'm going to just keep it there. All right. I still remember at one point I held. I think it was eight years ago when XRP was first introduced on Kraken Exchange. And the whole thing, my bag, mooned. I remember my friends from other countries, literally Asia. Hey man, can you help me get in crypto? That was a top sign actually. And now, I'm not going to tell you top sign now. You know, you, you understand what I mean, right? <laughs> and it's a holiday. So I'm not here to ruin your parties and all that stuff, celebration. However, my people, all these normies, Facebook friends um, in the marketing field and stuff, they, they came out, obviously, out of the caves. Some of them are talking about holding xrp like how do you feel right now huh guys you naysayers um one one commented one responded basically uh oh wow i've been hold uh i bought it at 15 cents so xrp right now and i'm just talking about all the so-called i did a video when i said american so-called american made crypto is gonna moon ada xrp whatever you want to put on the list and that's exactly what you see here see ada 3x all right xrp and it's, listen, I'm going to share both sides, okay? So just give me a few minutes. XRP from 50 cents all the way to 150. That's very decent gain, man, in this market. And one another dude responded. He's been holding for eight years since 0 0.005, something like that. So he, a oh, one four. He bought at sub something. That guy's holding at this. So that's not the only person, individual. A lot of them actually bought quite some time ago. Some will hold, some will cash out, whatever. I'll let them decide. I'm just here to report today. All right. But I still remember I held XRP at one point. Good old days. Can't buy into everything. And those of you who are looking at all these window shopping like me, basically, right? It's okay. I don't know what's so more exciting to me right now. Making one sale on TikTok, which I actually did. I literally made one sale, $2 commission on TikTok. I'm looking at $2 commission, figuring it out, how to take that out, basically, like with all the forms and tax issues and whatnot. And over here, people are making like life-changing gains, like millions of dollars and meme, $50,000 salary. I'm looking at $2 TikTok commission. I'm like, how can I now scale this, right? Because once I learn the system, I'm practicing, I'm very busy practicing. Once I learn the system, I'm going to teach others, basically, right? But I practice first before I preach so I can increase the chances of others making it. Atom and Secret. I want to mention Secret real quick. Look at Secret. All of a sudden, it's up 73%, right? And a lot of people, yeah, because it's undervalued and people are realizing, sure, that's one thing. But another thing I keep saying, washing money. There are a lot of money wash, washing going on right now. You will see all of a sudden, re no reasoning, okay? Just happens. So for average, normies, whatever, 99% looking, we might just think, oh, it's an opportunity. Oh, look, it's down from all-time high. M might get in right now. And then all of a sudden, what happened? What happened to Juno and all this other stuff I just covered recently? Nothing changed. This time is different. Yeah, every time it's different. It's just how we feel. And I'm not here to tell you uh, based on my emotions. I'm just 
reporting on data and history and uh, pretty much that's how I like to do it, right? And before I forget, someone on my Discord, I barely, we have, we barely, I shouldn't say I, we barely have any people. We have like almost nine, ten, almost close to ten people. And no plans, but it's a community where people can interact and I'm trying to keep it clean. But someone posted, have you seen the scam comments on your videos recently? What scam comments? I don't see any scam comments on my videos. And I create a lot of videos on you know, various platforms. I am, listen, I'm not going to ask for money or whatsoever, all right? I don't respond to DMs and stuff because I'm just too busy. It is, it's a reality. So if anyone's doing that, unless I know, you can email the freelancer.ai. That's the way to reach out to me, all right? Everybody posting in places, it's not me. Any token creation or whatever, ask money, it's never me. It's a scam. I'm just making it clear right now, okay? I've never asked for anything in like dms or private stuff everything is public i don't have and whatever accounts i have i do have a few other youtube accounts but again unless i literally sit here and talk to you physically or whatever to call you and stuff don't believe anybody all right and give somebody life saving thinking oh i just gave rebel something he promised me and yeah please once that this kind of stuff happens the scam thing that means i'm getting a little more known makes me a little happy right so people are actually following stuff. Thank you. Thank you for your support and subscribing. I appreciate it. I'll do whatever I can. All right? That's, a, that's what it is, man. This is how it's supposed to work. And yes, window shopping people, it's okay. All right? Most people don't understand. Right now, even if you look at the entire market on the other side, I'm talking about the meme mania. Look at all of these here. All of these. Look at all these. 20%, 30%, 60% down. Look at Fred, bro. Fred, Raccoon. What, this is the reality, man. This just popped so high. Peanut, all the trend, just for a few days, and then look what's happening. And there was someone who literally put $30,000 right here at the bottom. Right here. At the bottom. You can see that. And thinking he's going to make something. And guess what? After he put 30000 someone just dumped another 10000 20000 It just keeps going down. That's total pure gambling. And I find this very ridiculous, right? It's, it's <laughs> lunatic. Lunacy, basically. It's not classy. And hence, I decided not to participate. I told you, practice and preach. So I don't want to be, I want to set an example. I am not playing. I enjoyed at one point, it's fun, okay, but grow out. I'd rather see my TikTok $2 commission. That makes gets me more excited. And I figure, I had to figure out how I can actually turn that to millions or at least thousands sustain and not depend on anonymous, right? That's more important to me right now. And also stay calm. When you see gold, all right, look at this here. This is, of course, Anyone holding will be like, yeah, I'm so happy, excited, you're holding. Someone else is cashing out. They're doing their thing. So unless you cash out, you're not profiting. You're just holding. People are like, this guy is a $10 million richer. But yeah, but you're only richer once you have it in assets or whatever, hand, tangible. If not, it can just go off anytime, either in scam, social engineering. Just did a video when a guy lost $6.5 million just in a matter of seconds like this. Imagine if that happened. I can't. Think about that. People forget about that, right? Like, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, he lost it and then move on. But still, imagine if you weren't in his shoes right now, losing 6.5 million. If you earned it and you worked hard and earned it and traded or whatever, 6.5 million dollars, just 10 minutes gone. That's, that's painful, man. All right. So again, if you look at gold here, that tells you a lot about the whole, oh, wow. Told you to look at this, right? Not, not that I'm paying, you know, I'm investing or whatever. I said, whatever I have on my watch list, maybe pay attention if you really understand. I wanted to get on, in, get in Chewy and all these. Pfft, Chewy, stop mooning, bro. I actually want to buy Chewy around like $20 or something. I'm going to do a further more research on this. Like you used AI, but I covered five stock. Chewy was one of them. And I also had, um, what was that? Take two because of GTA 6 is coming, man. Yeah, anticipating. But let me show you. Where's gold here? Look, look at this here. Gold is back to 2,700. This itself literally shows something is very messy in the economy. And it's not like USA and they're buying. It's like, I feel like there's a distraction going on. Okay? Because right now, if you look overall, BDC is going up because of Michael Saylor. This guy, and oh my God, man. Where is MicroStrategy? Did you see MicroStrategy? That took a huge dump for Reno. Maybe he's up again? I want to show you MicroStrategy real quick. All right, SPX. Look at this here. Oh wow, it's back again. Just look what happened here. 
it dumped all the way to this here 300 from 500 whoever bought it 500 whatever michael Saylor, dump it buy more bitcoin bitcoin pumps and then hey you want to get exposure to bitcoin without holding bitcoin buy micro strategy all right micro strategy pumps again goes up dump it buy some more bitcoin hold on what is going on here if michael Saylor keeps buying and then he goes around you know telling others to buy sure so that's what's happening here spx when the entire ETF 500, S&P 500, is based on Michael Saylor stuff, because this stock is the one main one that took everything up, man. This is the main one. And if you go back all the way, see this year? 2000 dot com bubble bust. What happened? Maybe you ask Michael Saylor. He knows, you know, better than a lot of people out there. This is the chart. 2000, 2000. I'm talking about 20 years back, 24 years, 25 years, man. This is crazy. And if you look at the chart today. After fast forward, there's something to learn from. Look at this here. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? History. Boom. I'm not saying what's going to happen. I'm just showing you the charts, man. Wow, look at this here. Wow, what happened here? March 2000. This is micro strategy. But nope, people are focused here right now, which is totally fine. But I just had to show you this gold. If everything was fine, then there's gold buys, still gold buys. Every time there's a huge dip, gold is still being bought up, right? Because people are hedging for some reason, uncertainty, whatever. So this is all I have for you, all right? I don't want to drag this long, but uh, I've noticed something and I'm going to end it here. So not everybody can get into everything. I bought into Akash, 50 cents, whatever. It's still up $3 something, still several excess chain links, profitable, this profitable. You can't be profitable on every trade. So we got to just be satisfied with whatever we just can. And just, there's always an opportunity, all right? And why I'm not, even if I have some cash lying around, I did the same thing last time. Everything was mooning, and I, I'm talking about years ago. I can go back three years, I can go back prior to that, three, four years back, XRP era and all that, and I'm thinking, what did I do wrong? What, what, I have to learn something from it. History might not repeat, but rhymes, and you need to learn. If you don't learn, then it's just a waste of time, basically. So I'm like, okay, what did I do? I was buying, 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 and I lost most of them. Because when I was buying, I was giving liquidity to all these people who were holding prior to me, and they were selling to me. See what they were doing? They were cashing out while I was, like, not being a fool. While I was being greedy, they were being fearful. And uh, that's exactly what, you know, yeah, I've seen what happened. So, so I have to be very cautious. And the uh, economy tells a lot of stuff. If you're not winning, most of you watching this are not winning enough millions, then I'm not doing that. It tells everything about the data, the economy, basically. If the scamsies and the corporations and, you know, they are the one winning, they're the winners, then there's a problem, huge problem here. That's what I'm trying to point out, all right? If you look at every other tokens here, you see it's pretty much dried out. It's like money is being rotated for some reason. All the memes are getting dried out, all right? Memes goes up. All our money is being like BDC and also they're forming into all the Okay, let's go to American tokens, so-called Made in Crypto uh, America, USA. Literally, wherever the narrative is, all of a sudden, the focus is focus goes there. And that's exactly the thing. So I can call whatever token, but if the focus goes somewhere else, it won't matter, believe it or not. So I can, like I said, people are going to promote XRP because they hold the bags. YouTubers, I'm just giving you everything the way it is. But it also helps if I can, if, you know, talking about a token when I'm invested in it. That's why I'm giving you the general picture of this. Unlike BitBoy, who's talking about XRP, or some dude, Ada, Ada, just Ada Maxi, XRP Maxi. I don't believe in this Maxi stuff, man. I did a skit on Maxi, if you remember. Watch that short video I just released out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Join the Discord, please. Don't spam and do any stupid stuff. Just fairly new. I don't make any over extra promises. But as we move forward, I'll tweak and we learn along the way. And yeah, I'll just let you know what I have to offer. Simple as that. And if you like merch like this, maybe check it out. But... Yeah, maybe not. Save your money instead and uh, buy some rugs, <laughs> which won't rug you. All right. All right. Oh, I'm at classicculture.com. All right. Peace. I'll see you in the next vid. Wait, why is this still going on?